Oh, wow. Wow. Right. Oh my mama so motherfuckers talking about my tattoo and all that on my brother. Niggas know they wasn't checking shit in the county, man. Niggas wasn't no shit. And Mike, Mike, you really scary as hell. What them niggas had to scared as hell in that bitch. Your own homie, boy. And you can't even go back to your hood. Stop listening to my name. My brother, great, nigga. Fuck on them chains, snip ass, red ass bitch. You can't walk the yard. You can't even afford to even be talking to me like you crazy, man. For them great talk. Pump your brakes. Make sure y'all hit that thumbs up. That's the like button. Also hit the notification bell. That way you get notifications from me every time I drop this hot ish off the press. Now here we go. Oh wow. Uh. Oh wow. Uh. Damn. So this is a guy. Well, the guy just played. That is. 051 to 0510 because I don't think he actually was ever 051 Young Money. I think Kiddo made that pretty clear. Yeah. But he kind of felt like he raised Kiddo and things of that nature. But his name is Freaky. His name is Freaky. And if y'all starting to think, why they call this ninja Freaky from the hood? You know, um, I think they mean he got Freaky with that gun. I know it sounds stupid, y'all. But imagine children coming up with these type names. You know, you get freaky with a bitch. Yeah, he got freaky with that gun. Yeah, freaky. Like, ah. Yeah, that way. That way. But uh, that response is towards the interview. DJU, shout out to DJU. Keep bringing the heat. He took a little uh, minute off. And people thought his momentum was going down. And he hit us back with who? Big Mike. But not only Big Mike. Which was in the King Vaughn murder case. When the, the case King Vaughn got out and signed to OTF, Big Mike was in it. Allegedly, he told. But the big news is, he's Wooski brother, the biggest op. Yeah. And he brought the biggest op with him to a DJU platform. And the biggest op, Wooski, talk better than he usually do. Because y'all don't know, um, he caught a headshot at a funeral. Going to bury one of his people. From his side. And uh yeah, King Vaughn and them basically was giving him hints. Oh, we're gonna see you real soon. But he ain't knew it was gonna be that soon. Yeah, that way. So a lot of people thought Wooski can't talk. But um I watched not the whole interview because he's bringing it out piece by piece. Wooski is doing better with his talk game, and it got me feeling like man, he probably could have talked all the while. He just don't want to answer some questions y'all asking him. Y'all asking him the wrong questions. But he came with his big brother, which is crazy, yeah, how the relationship is, because his big brother was what? Big Mike from Old Block. Wooski chose to go to 63rd. But it's love there. It's love there. And um, DJU asked him about a fight. I'm talking about Big Mike, about a fight. Yeah, in jail. Like, I didn't know. Okay, King Vaughn, we already know. I'm not going to show the footage because I don't want you to scratch my page. I have before, though. Before I had to take all my videos down when he demonetized me. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to keep it like this. Just believe what I see. Yeah. So um, it was an incident where King Vaughn slipped, slipped out the cuffs and beat this dude freaky ass. Yeah. In the bullpen. If you don't know what the bullpen is, it's when everybody about to go to court and they got everybody in one ad, big ass room with your ops. Yeah. Your cousins, your uncles. Yeah. Everybody. Everybody. And uh, freaky. Uh, basically put uh, FLA on his arm. You don't know who LA is? That's LA Capone. Yeah, RP to him. I believe he would have been up there like Lil Dirk if he was still living. He had the swag, you know, everything to go with it. But unfortunately, he went to a studio. Somebody backdoored him, in my opinion. Yeah, when he was making fire music, went to a studio and got backdoored, right? So this guy, Freaky, yeah. He's locked up around all these old block members, his own members, but they all came to the conclusion. Look, we're going to keep it copacetic. This was Big Mike saying, I'm going to play him after I finish running my gyms. Yeah, we're going to keep it copacetic. Unless somebody like directly done killed your homeboy or something, then, you know, it's going to pop off. We all fighting these big cases. Not no small cases. All the boys got murders and all type of issues. 
I think Freaky's still locked up. Matter of fact, he is still locked up now. That's him locked up. Um, talking about the interview with DJU when Big Mike said what well, I'm going to let y'all he said after I finish talking. Yeah, that way. Work with me. Work with me. Yeah, it's coming. But um, during that process, he got moved to another dorm and got F. L.A. on his arm, which is L.A. Capone. Look him up. Great music. Um, yeah. And um, King Von ain't like that. So I guess the whispers going around in the uh, jailhouse, he got F.L.A. on his arm. So when they get in the bullpen, all of them going to court, King Von, I thought, slipped out the cuffs himself. I was wondering how he did it. I'm like, damn, King Von, raw as hell. Nope, he had assistance. From Big Mike, who was his co-defendant at the time, even though they said he told, I guess they still was kind of, you know, probably about that time, King Vaughn didn't know which route he was going with. But he asked Big Mike, let Big Mike tell it. Hey, man, you bought the picks. I don't know what the picks is. It's something to help you get the handcuffs. Because when they seen freak ass in there and seeing that L.A. tattoo, King Vaughn wanted to get about that thing and whip his ass. And he did. With the help of Big Mike. But Big Mike spoke on it on DJU, which I'm going to play after I finish talking. I told y'all that. He spoke on it. So what I played for you prior to me talking is Freaky telling you Big Mike a rat. Uh, he was scared in there and all that. They're trying to, you know, clean his face. Up. But Big Mike was actually, let him tell it now. This is him. It's all legend with me. He was actually the one to help King Vaughn get out the handcuffs to beat freaky ass. And I'm going to let him talk about the rest of it. But before I go, I'm going to tell y'all, yeah, to use that thing in the middle of your eyebrows, though. It's called the mind, and the mind is a terrible thing to waste. Yeah, just like freaky should use this mind. Yeah, and not get another ninja who you didn't have nothing to do with get killed tattooed on you. So he basically got the tattoo on him. Um... Like I said, King Vaughn ain't like it. I thought King Vaughn slipped out the handcuffs himself. But Big Mike is telling another story. And y'all about to hear that story now. And uh, when y'all use that mind to think, make sure y'all remind yourself, y'all are somebody. And I'm going now hard. Before I go out, hold up. You know, I always stop. Make sure y'all be respectful in the comments. But let me know how y'all feel about this. We in this together, you know what I'm saying? But be respectful, because I curse a bitch out. And now I'm going out hard. The same way I came in. Oh, uh, enjoy the content. You know, uh, you know, fighting in jail, right? Uh, I guess a key question that I forgot to ask in the last one <laughs> uh, was about um, a jail fight that was... Uh, surfacing online between King Von and 051 Freaky. For sure. Um, according to the video we was looking at, they say this big Mike that helped Vaughn slip out his cuffs. Yeah. Okay, so can you take us back to that to the to that day in that in that in that bullpen and tell us how that happened? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was a little bro homie too. <laughs> well, freaky. Yeah. All right. He asked me about that shit. He like, why y'all doing to my shit? You know what I'm but uh now we hear court and shit. I was in the bullpen already first and shit. I had got brought down first. Then Freaky came down. Now, I ain't know nothing about the tattoo and shit like that. What the fuck LA on now? I ain't know nothing about it. So when Vaughn came in, you know, he was like, talking to him and then he like, man, you know this nigga got fuck LA on his arm. I'm like, what? So, you know, Vaughn basically trying to get himself out the cuffs first. And then he was like, man, did you bring the pick? And I'm like, yeah, you know I got the pick. He was like, man, I need to get out the cup. And I, and he flipped out, you know what I'm saying? And the whole time, Freaky was in the bullpen talking about, no, bro, this ain't got nothing to do with y'all. Like, he was real loud terrified, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of niggas would be terrified in that situation because you boxed in like this. And this nigga, he, he got an arm out. He finna, he finna beat you, you know what I'm saying? And that's what happened in the video. But it's like, you did that to yourself. Because you getting somebody dead, homie, you tattooing it on you, which it take a lot of balls 
and a kid mentality to get a dead nigga on your arm. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You finna be living, when you get 60, if you make it to 60, you gonna have that tattoo on your arm and you gonna be looking at it like my stupid ass. And we interviewed O Five One Freaky. Uh, and I believe he said he got the fuck LA tattoo because that's his homie's work. Ain't that what he said? Yes, yeah, that's what he said, right? I don't wanna make sure on Twitter. We're gonna roll the clip. So let's talk about the fight between you and King Von, though. That's the most viral, viral video that's you know that that in the in the most recent weeks. Uh, you were obviously handcuffed. King Von was handcuffed as well. He slipped out of his cuffs. Um the blogs say King Von got on that because you got a L.A. tattoo on your arm. Is 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 that a uh, correct assessment? Yeah, this shit all on me. This shit all on me. That ain't that ain't really all I got on me for shit. Hell yeah, everybody know that. Whole world know that. I got this shit while I was locked up with them. You got the tattoo while you was locked up with them? Yeah, yeah. Me and Von, me, Von, a lot of us, we was locked up all together. I was locked up in the country for five years. So you got a f L.A. tattoo while you were locked up in the county. Yeah, yeah. You know, you if you if you know what you know. Shit, right. My people went down for that shit. No, so I felt some type of way. It ain't even about. And I always tell people this. Feel me? It's not about him. It's not even him per se. Cause shit, I don't really like to me. If you do the research or whatever, he a kid to me. A kid to my, my niggas that's locked up. And I feel like if he could be alive and my niggas could be back on the street, then so then it's cool. But it's only it's only the situation, not really too much him, you know what I'm saying? Right. That's really how I feel about it. But to sit down and get some ink tatted, you know what I'm saying? Something that you I know you can't type of way. Right, right. So but you saying you just feel some type of way about the situation. That 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 probably you know, probably be a, bit, be a bit more personal, right? To sit down and get a whole tattoo saying, fuck L.A. And I, I ain't taking it back either, though. That's all I'm saying. Word. I can't get my brothers back. Fuck. Word. So you saying, I mean, so you saying, you know, your brothers that's locked up, they gone, you know, like for life or something? Exactly. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Word. Word. He told us something else. He he told us when he was explaining himself in the bullpen, he said that L.A. had something to do with his brother getting killed. You feel me? That's why he got the tattoo. Okay. But despite all of that, any allegations you felt like, you still wasn't ever supposed to get the tattoo when you know it's a million niggas running around Division 9 that got love for this man. So, and so then, he got it in jail, right? Yeah, he got it in jail. So they moved him to Division 10 with all of his homies. He went over there, was a tattoo man over there. He got the tattoo. He got shipped back to Division 9. And that's when everybody found out about the, the tattoo. And it was like right here on his arm. Like, you know, he ain't trying to hide it or none of that. You feel So he did that to himself, shit. Because, you know, we, 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 like, we weren't cool in the county, but we came to like an agreement. Like, all right, we already been bumping. All the time, every time we see each other, it's on site. Let's get to fighting these cases, you know what I'm saying? Unless a nigga bump into a motherfucker that supposed to have something to do with one of your people's getting killed, then the motherfucker still bump. But other than that, like, he just from, he from they block. Like, I ain't no shit with him. You know what I'm saying? So, like, everybody was cool. And then you leave Division 9 and go to Division 10, and then you get the tattoo. And it's like, oh, uh, you saying, bro, so all right, this what's going on. My baby dragon said, send some cash out so he eat good like he eat every day. Yeah. Send some cash apps. What's your cash app? Dollar sign I A M S U P A K O O L. Don't y'all want to see his beard grow? Look how he looking around, look. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm trying to get you some money. Where's Turd at the new one? Look how big his Turd is, though, y'all. Come on now. Come on now. Show some love for the better dragon. He's trying to get a bigger uh, tank. <laughs> wow.